This is the main screen of Grove Menus. And just to get you oriented on what you see, you're going to have Sunday on the left and Saturday on the right with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The very bottom right hand corner, you can see what current week you're on, which is week one. We do a five week cycle. So the menus, the recipes, the special diets, and the shopping list are all done for you for those five weeks. When next Sunday comes around, the calendar will automatically forward and you'll see week two. And the week after that, you'll see week three and so on. By clicking on, clicking on the calendar icon, you can manually forward your calendar to next week's menu. We can look at week two, week three, and so on. At the bottom of every day, you're going to see a dollar amount. And this is the price per resident per day for food costs on a national average. Now, you're going to continue to source your food wherever you're comfortable doing so. This will just give you a ballpark idea. It might be higher or lower, but it just gives you uh, a budget to help you along your way. We do seasonal menus. And you can either have new menus uploaded four times a year or two times a year, just depending on your preference. In the upper left hand corner you're going to see the Grove Menus logo and then right below that there are some tabs and this is like your navigation bar. If you want to edit the menu you click on that tab. If you want to do the shopping list you click on that tab and so on. As you continue to scan from left to right you'll see week beginning that we talked about and then there's the resident count. This is the number of people you're serving. It's going to scale your recipes and your shopping list to that count. So you change it as often as you need to. If you're at 6, you put 6 and it will scale it accordingly. If you're at 150, you put that number. Again, change it as often as you need to. Below the tabs, there's another series of buttons that you can print things. If you need to print a week at a glance, you can click on that. Uh, you also can print your recipes. To the left of every recipe, there's a box. And if I want to print my recipes for this particular day, I can click on those check marks and then click on Print Recipes. There's also a series of buttons below each day. If I want to look at today's menu, you can click on that one as well. Finally, in the bottom right-hand corner, if you need help on any of your screens, click on the little dot, dot, dot. You can chat with us. You can uh, email us, you can call us, and then just to the left of this you'll see a little icon for viewing a tutorial video for each screen. You can do that as well. And this is an overview of the main screen.